Friday, the 10th of May, 2002. At 12.45 p.m., a fast train left London's King's Cross station. 98 people were on board. The first stop will be Cambridge, 45 minutes down the line. As the train gathered speed, no one knew how disastrously this journey would end. At British Transport Police Headquarters, it was a normal day, dealing with crime on the railways and the underground. I was actually um, engrossed in a lot of paperwork in preparation for a, a promotion uh, exam when I got a phone call. At that time, I was in charge of the Force Intelligence Bureau, and I had my key players actually in a meeting at the time when a knock came at the door. The train was soon travelling near 100 miles an hour on the fast line, heading north, away from London. Ten minutes into the journey, the train left Potter's Bar Tunnel. The signal was green to proceed at speed. The station was 25 seconds away. Neither the driver nor the passengers knew that the previous night a concerned rail worker had reported a rough ride on the line at Potter's Bar. <laughs> 